Hello everyone. It's a calm winter's morning here in Campbell River. The air temperature is not too bad actually. It's about negative two. Perfect for a day of birding. I'm here at the Willow Point Estuary, which is where a small creek comes and hits the ocean in Campbell River. There's a nice little side channel with a lot of ducks in it. This is near the start of the Discovery Passage, which is where the Strait of Georgia narrows at the start of the Discovery Islands. That's Quadra Island. You can see the coastal mountains back behind me. That's the mainland of British Columbia. So this is one of my favorite spots for birding in Campbell River, just because you get such a mix of habitats. There's the ocean, the shoreline, the estuary, the creek itself, and there's a nice little forest back up in there. Now it's not the best weather forecast today. It's obviously overcast right now, and it's supposed to start snowing and maybe freezing rain later. So I'm trying to get my birding in now. The ocean's really a mixed bag of birds. You get ducks, including sea ducks, dabbling ducks, mergansers. There's also grebes cormorants and loons and I hope to show you some of those species today. The estuary seems popular with gulls who like to bathe in the fresh water. Driving here I also saw a few bald eagles flying to the ocean to forage. In terms of birds I'd like to see today there's two species that I think would be pretty easy to get that are not on my year list yet. That is great blue heron, a year-round resident and also belted kingfisher. Oh. There's a kingfisher right there. So I'm going to check out the estuary here. I'll check the shoreline and then I'll work up the creek. Hopefully it doesn't start snowing too bad. All right, here we go. Let's go birding, everyone. I hope you like the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I set up my camera on the side of the estuary, right on a trail. In the water were the usual suspects, a group of American widgeon, a lone female common merganser, and a large group of mallards that were pretty active. Mallards might be common, but just look, they are gorgeous birds. The kingfisher that I saw during the intro returned, but as the snow started to fly, it sat passively on the bridge over the creek. It looks to be a male, as it lacks the chestnut belly band that females have. He looks pretty tough next to the graffiti. Hey kid, wanna buy some minnows? On the other side of the creek, a group of gulls were milling about. One of them, a juvenile, was working hard at eating something. Looking more closely, it was working away at a dead gumboot chitin. Chitons are marine gastropods related to snails and slugs. Gumboots are really weird and worth a Google, after you finish this video, of course. As it started snowing harder, activity in the pond calmed down. Some of the ducks went back to bed. I wondered if I should do the same. But I knew there were more cool birds to be seen. Heading to the beach, I started to search for waterfowl. There weren't many, but there were a few gulls, including this glacious wing gull. Gulls are a group that I've neglected a bit in my birding. They are hard to identify, especially out of the breeding season. They have multi-year plumage progressions and also hybridize, making ID even trickier. For example, this other gull I saw on the beach looks to be a hybrid between western gull and glacius wing gull. With the beach devoid of much activity, I decided to cross the road and walk up the creek. I saw a great blue heron, but it sulked away and flew off. Also taking refuge along the creek was this black-tailed deer buck. These deer are a subspecies of the mule deer, and the only deer found on Vancouver Island. Watching from on high were two bald eagles from their favorite perch tree. After taking in the beauty of the creek for a few minutes, I heard the telltale sounds of a group of pine siskins. These small finches travel in tight flocks, switching between perching and short flights together. They were feeding on the seeds of some large red alder trees. But it was not just the alders the siskins were feasting on. One of the residents of the neighboring apartment had a feeder, and there was an ongoing fight for position at it among the small birds. At this point, I felt like both me and the finches were cheating a bit. Full from their meals, it was now time for a little preening and relaxation. But also making room for more. And eating some refreshing snow to wash those seeds down. Not far away, I saw another incredible songbird, a varied thrush. Of all the birds, I like songbirds the most. 
and within that group, fairy thrush are pretty high up on the list. Just look at that majestic plumage contrasting with the snow. Here one eats a snowberry. Hearing the song of fairy thrush was pretty common back in the mountains of Alberta. But as they reside in dense, dark forests, seeing them was a rare treat. That does not seem to be the case here on Vancouver Island. But I must say, the thrill has not worn off. So there was a lot of great songbird activity in here, in this little forest area next to the creek. Fairy thrush, pine siskin, fox sparrow, a lot of cool birds. It's snowing pretty hard, so I might call that a day. I saw 18 species, which is a pretty good for a morning outing in the snow. I hope you enjoyed the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe.